The castle of Lécart changed appearances several times before resembling the late 16th century fortress that can be seen on today's reproduction. Archaeological excavations enabled searchers to identify certain parts of the old building, particularly a piece of the primitive castle's doorway. Thus, we know that in the 13th and 14th centuries, the castle's entryway was closed by a simple wooden door without a portcullis. A footbridge was used to cross the small ditch. In the late 14th century, the 100 Years' War context probably made it necessary to reinforce the castle's defence system. A loophole was built. Its walls were three metres high and it enabled the castle's occupants to stand safely before the door and guard the entrance without being wounded. There was probably a drawbridge as well. In the second half of the 16th century, François Descartes and the King of France took part in a war against the Protestants. François Descartes' grandfather, Geoffroy de Perrus, had turned the castle into a simple residence. In order to protect it, François Descartes had some extra work done on it. The ditch was enlarged and equipped with a special defence bridge which supported the drawbridge. The loophole itself became a small defensive castle with two towers, one on either of its sides. You can still see the tower foundations today. One is located on the outside and the other can be found under the town hall building. The towers were specially designed to withstand attacks. The front part of their cylindric bases were reinforced by a prominent angle called a spur. A 17th century drawing gives us a good idea of what this part of the castle, which no longer exists, actually looked like.